So there's really no other way to say it. Takeoffs in a gyroplane are a little bonkers, totally wild, completely different than an airplane or a helicopter. Let me show you how. Where? Most of the unusual nature of the gyro takeoff centers around getting the rotor up to speed prior to starting the takeoff run. We roll onto the runway, then stop and set the wheel brakes with the left hand, then keeping the right hand on the stick, reach up with the left hand to unlock the rotor brake. Now the left hand comes back down and unlocks the wheel brake and holds it. Using these specific hands for each step reinforces the need to keep the rotor under control at all times. Now we start the pre-rotation. That's a button on the head of the stick. Press it and the rotor begins turning. Bring the engine RPM up to 2000, wait for the rotor to reach 100 RPMs, and now you can center the stick or put it into the wind. Then bring the power up to 3000 and wait for the rotor to reach about 190 RPM. Here comes the important part. Release the pre-rotator, release the handbrake, stick comes full back, and only then do we go full power. First the gyro rockets forward, then the energy goes into the rotor as it spins up. The nose pops up when there's enough lift, so push the stick forward to keep it from going up too high, and then wait and fly it off. Assuming you did all this right, it should take about 11 steps, and then you're pretty good until about 500 feet when you come back on the power. Then it's look outside and enjoy the ride. Ian Twombly, AOPA Live.